This is step two in uh, drawing a two-scale um, diagram of a netball court. In the last screencast we got as far as doing the outer edge and then dividing the court up into the three sections by applying these uh, two lines here. So what I'm next going to do is draw the uh, centre circle. Now this is quite easy. I need to do insert, shapes, and then I'm going to choose uh, the oval shape which is under the basic shapes option. Now what you can do here is if you hold your finger on the shift key when you draw the oval it will actually keep it as a circle but it doesn't really matter anyway because I'm going to change the size in a second. So I'm going to draw a circle and I've deliberately not put it exactly in the middle. Um, I then go to the format ribbon and again we use the sizes here to enter the exact dimensions. Now it turns out the circle uh, is, is, has a 0.9 meter diameter so I need to put 0.9 in the top box and 0.9 in the second box and that's positioned that, uh, sorry that's resized it uh, correctly. The next thing I need to do is get it aligned so it's in the centre of my court. Now if I hold my finger on the shift key and I select the circle and I select the box that is the outer court we can then go to the align tools and if I do align centre it will move it into the middle in one direction and then do align middle it will move it into the centre in the other direction. So it's aligned it both that way and that way. So that circle is now exactly in the middle of my court. Um, I'm just going to select the outer edge of my shape. If I go to the home ribbon and format painter and then I single click on my circle it will apply the same formatting that I've already used in the past. Next thing I'm going to do is we're going to do the semicircle for the uh, the shooting area. Now this is actually quite tricky. There's a couple of different ways in which you could do it, but the easiest I think is to go to Insert Shapes, and we're then going to draw an arc, and that's under Basic Shapes. And if you hover over it, it's called Arc. And I'm just going to roughly uh, drag something onto the screen. It doesn't matter where I go. Um, just draw something uh, on the screen. Now the arc starts off by being a quarter circle arc so it's going from this point here down to this point here. What I need to do is click on this yellow diamond and drag my mouse down to this bottom square in the middle of the bottom row of that uh, shape so it's created the semicircular shape of my arc. Now that I've done that I can then go to the format option and I can set the size. Now the semicircle has a radius of 4.9 centimeters so I need to convert that into a diameter so I need to double it to 9.8 so 9.8 and 9.8 will give me the correct size of my uh, shape. I can then move that left and again I have to move it sort of manually so that it um, lines up correctly with this left hand edge what I can then do is while that's selected if I hold my finger on the shift key and I click the outer court dimension and I do a line middle it will just move it up or down so that it's in the correct position and then again single click on the outer edge of my court home ribbon format painter and there's my uh, semicircle formatted once I've got one of them correct, I can do copy and paste, control C and then control V. I'm just going to move it across the screen and I then need to flip it, which I can do on the format tab and then under rotate I can flip horizontally and again I just need to move it across manually so it lines up with the edge of the court. If I then select that and hold my finger on the shift key to select the edge of the court I can again align middle and it will move it up nicely. So now we've got everything that we need in our court. I'm going to s drag my mouse, sorry, I'm going to drag my mouse around everything um, in order to select all of the items. Now the circles, because the circles kind of extend beyond the shape, we have to be quite wide. Now in this case I haven't actually selected this uh, right hand semicircle, so when I group it and resize it, that would get left off screen. So I'm just going to put my finger on the shift key and that has now selected. Um, in the next screencast I'll show how we can group and resize.